Welcome to the cabin. Today we're making a swamp base to use with the plague bearer we did last time. So we start off by cutting off a piece of cork. I'm just tearing this off to get some nice natural looking edges. And then I apply some super glue directly to the plastic base to attach the piece of cork. You could use PVA glue or other types as well, but I find that the super glue dries pretty quickly and just gets it stuck in place so I could keep on working with it. After that, I cover the uh, top of the cork as well as the parts of the base that you could see surrounding the cork with some PVA glue. I just water this down ever so slightly with a damp brush and spread it evenly throughout the surfaces. Then I'm dipping the whole thing in some uh, gravel or sand. You could use whatever type of texture that you want. And I also make sure to add some extra PVA on the actual edges of the cork, just to make them a bit more stable. Once this is all dry, I undercoat the base with uh, Zandri dust to give it a good um, base to work on. And I also have a little skull here that I undercoated in Wraith bone, and uh, I kept that separate from the base. To paint the skull, I'm pretty much just using Skeleton Horde, which is one of the contrast paints from Citadel, and I'm applying that evenly over the whole skull. The base itself, I dry brush with Shop de Bone, um, also from Citadel. I'm just doing it quite roughly here. After that, I'm applying some Plague Bearer Flesh, another contrast paint from Citadel, on the uh, base itself surrounding the cork. This is where the slime will be later on. And on top of the base, I'm using Agarus Dunes, another contrast paint. After this, I am uh, drilling a little hole in the base and this is just to add the skull that we had earlier on. Um, I'm not even gluing this down, I'm just putting it through this little hole. Um, the resin will actually keep this in place as we go. I'm adding one tuft of grass here with some super glue. I got these ones from Army Painter. The next step is to cover the base in some tape. I'm using this resin tape that I got from my girlfriend. I've tried to use normal scotch tape or other types of tape, uh, and they work, but I find that this one works just a little bit better. Uh, it creates this kind of cone shape, and what I'm doing right now is that I'm cutting away the top of the cone. It's time for the resin now, and I'm using uh, UV resin from Green Stuff World which you could use different brands. They all seem to work pretty much the same. And I also have this resin color that I could add. Um, and I mix the two of them together like this. I tried using dry pigments and while it kind of worked, this one creates a more clear, better type of result. Once that's mixed, I'm using my pipette to uh, get some of the resin mixture and start applying it uh, around the edges here. I'm working slowly and carefully to uh, try to dispense this evenly across the surface of the base, and I try to avoid the top of the actual cork as well. Um, be careful here and just try to uh, spread it as even as you can. You can do this in layers, so you could see that I'm adding a little bit more now, trying to top up the different areas um, that I missed going in the first time. Um, and you can keep going. This won't dry until you actually apply the UV light later on. Using this uh, UV light, I am uh, starting to make the resin harden. Now it's time to remove the tape. I'm trying to do this carefully to make sure that everything is dried up nice and I won't tear anything off. I 
Um, I'm using a little bit of the UV resin mixture just to fill in if there were any air bubbles, any gaps, anything like that. And you can actually keep building right now. It's created this little lip around the edges and I want the rest of the resin to kind of um, fill that space up to the lip. So I'm just adding more resin as I go. After all is set, uh, we have some parts that we don't want and we are going to trim them away right now using a knife as well as some sanding paper. So I just scrape off edges um, going around with my modeling knife and also I try to sand them quite clean. It's okay if you, if you take away some of the paint on the base rim because we're going to fill that in next. Just make sure you get all that dust off. Um, before the next stage, which is to apply uh, a layer of gloss varnish. I'm using Vallejo's uh, varnish here. And this helps you take away that kind of dusty feel from the previous step. Now it's time to fill in the edge of the base using Steel Legion Drab from Citadel. After that, I'm adding some pigments, uh, burnt umber and burnt sienna around the top of the base. Um, and to set these pigments, I'm just applying a little bit of thinner, in this case X22A from um, Tamaya, just to make sure they set nicely on top of the base. You could use the capillary action to allow the drops to move around. And finally, I'm adding one more tuft of grass on top of the base using super glue. And here we have the finished base with the Plague Bearer on top. Um, I think it created quite a nice effect. It looks more difficult than it actually was uh, to make it. It's more a matter of learning how to work with the UV resin, for example. So I hope you can give this a try or use these methods to create something else using your imagination. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your miniatures.